Hey, what's going on everyone? Pro Bounty Hunter here. Welcome to another episode of Thungry Thursday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my favorite and famous potato salad. Alright, so grab cutting board, knife, peeler, a couple pots. You want to grab your spuds, potatoes, whatever you want to call them. Wash them up, wash them up, wash them up, get all that dirt off. Yeah, pop those eyes out of the potatoes, get rid of those, get rid of those. Wash them again, wash them again. Get some water. Next, bring it over to the stove. You want to get that stove turned up because this is going to be for the eggs. Put a little oil in there and a little salt. Helps the eggshells get a little uh, easier to break apart. Grab your huevos, eggs. That's eggs in Spanish. Don't have a dirty mind. Put those eggs inside the dish. Boom, peel some potatoes, peel some potatoes. Nice and quick, nice and quick. Look at that. Don't cut your finger off. That compost bin, put all your scraps in there if you guys compost because that's real good for the garden. Get some more water because you're going to be using that to put the slices of potatoes in. Start cutting them up. Be careful. Don't cut your finger off. As you're cutting, you want to place those potatoes in the water. You don't want to throw them in because you get water everywhere. Put that on your stove. Turn it all the way up to high, high, high. Toss a little oil in there. Don't forget to add a little salt. People say it doesn't help the water boil faster. I think it does. Turn those eggs all the way up to medium. Get them to a nice boil. Keep stirring those potatoes. You want to make sure to get all the potatoes heated evenly. How are them eggs doing? Getting there? Don't forget to keep an eye on them. You don't want any cracked shells. Ooh, that's hot. Don't want to touch that. Check on these. Mmm, starting to get a little warm. Mix them up again. Mix them, mix them, mix them. Now the huevos are boiling, my friend. You're going to want to turn the water level all the way down on the heat. Check on those spuds one last time. Look at that. Nice and boiled. Ooh, fork tender. That's good for them. Turn it all the way off and drain them in the sink. Give them a nice good shake after you get everything out. Look at those. Nice and steamy. Steaming up the lens. I prefer a ceramic bowl. I don't know why. I just feel like it cools down quicker. But I like to dump them in there. Ooh, wave away a little bit of that heat. And grab yourself a couple of paper towels. You want to put these babies in the fridge to cool down. Now grab those eggs, my friend. Drain them out. You're going to want to be very careful. Like those raptor eggs in Jurassic Park, you don't want to crack these. Put them in a bowl. Same thing. Paper towel in the fridge. Cool down. Now that we had a little bit of time to relax and chill out, we're going to want to grab some garlic. Some paprika, some parsley flake, parsley flakes, flakes, salt and pepper. Everything in that fridge should be cool, so take it on out. Look at those eggs. Nice and easy crack. Boom, shell is off. Chop them up, dice them up, whatever you gotta do, just get them in that potato mixture. Here's where the spices come into play. First up, you want to dump a little bit of pepper on there. I, I personally like to season them to my flavoring, and I've done this so many times, I know how much to use. So if you're doing this the first time, you're going to want to make sure that you use the right amount. So taste it first time after you mix it and see how it tastes. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Grab yourself a cutting board and a nice shaped onion. This one's already in the fridge, so I didn't have to do too much cutting. Take away that inside, take away the outside. Dice her up, dice her up. Look at that, perfect cutting, perfect cutting. Not too good, but it wasn't too bad. Put that in the bowl. Mm, yeah, kind of singing here now. Final ingredient I like to put in is freeze-dried tribes. But guess what? It's New England, it's the summer, so I got them growing outside. Why use uh, frozen stuff when you can have the best and the fresh? Bring those upstairs, wash them out, cut them up, cut them up. Look at that. Grab some mayonnaise. Just remember, folks, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. Quick mix, quick mix. Once again, some more pepper. Season it up. Add yourself a little salt, a little dash of paprika for color. You're going to want to put in a couple of parsley flakes. Nice pinch will do. 
Look at that. It's already starting to look real tasty. Mmm, some more chives and wipe that bowl off. You want a good presentation. Doesn't that look good? Wrap that baby up with some saran wrap and pop it in the fridge and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much. Leave a comment down below if you tried it. Like the video if you did. And I'll catch you guys next week.